Hi Sagittarius, this is Ascension Empress with your August 2019 reading. Thank you for visiting, liking, sharing, subscribing. I really appreciate you all. And I pray that you all are doing well. May peace and blessings be upon you all, always. And yes, this is for Sun, Moon, Arising, Sagittarius. Take what resonates with you. And I'll be using the Right Away Tarot deck for this reading. And Sagittarius. I've been getting this energy around you all that is just like, you feel like your intelligence have been insulted a lot. Like people have been taking you and the wisdom that you have, your intellect, everything, all the knowledge that you have attained over the years and past lifetimes for granted because of your optimism and your um, freedom and your want to be free and just really explore. And... It's just like people are thinking that you're unrealistic and that you can't be responsible or that you're crazy. I'm getting that a lot of you have been interacting with some narcissists and it's mainly um, projections that you have been dealing with. Uh, yes. <laughs> so it's like other people's securities and then making it seem like you're crazy. It's like, have you ever been like um, just naturally talking to somebody thinking that you're having a good conversation and things are going well and all of a sudden they're just like what are you talking about like all of a sudden they just act like you just spoke a foreign language and or that you're all off topic and no one was even having a conversation before like yeah they got some spirits they need to deal with don't take it personally but i know that some sagittarius by the look what you mean what am i talking about i'm talking about this like don't try to make it seem like i'm crazy because clearly you got some stuff going on with with inside <laughs> you had to let it go get you a lapis sagittarius because that's our stone anyway i have uh, my son and mercury in sagittarius so best believe i'm waiting for this mercury to go in leo because it, mm -mm, that's cancer <laughs> It's not for me. It's not. What? Yes. So we have the four of pentacles. So right now, she's like really trying to keep things to yourself. You might be keeping receipts of all the times people try to make it seem like you were, you know, not making sense or that you were over exaggerating and this and this and that. And also just keeping your money together, keeping your business together to yourself when it comes to how much you make how much you're making i mean some of you probably got a raise and you're not telling anybody or telling anyone in the workplace um really just focus on you and your come up at this point mm. going into the past we have the six of cups so <laughs> uh yeah somebody probably wanted an apology especially during mercury retrograde season i um, wanted to reconcile it. maybe someone came back and that's why you're on guard like no um really not expressing yourself even now not wanting to deal with this person i'm getting some of you are just not wanting to open up to this person because this is what they do they go back and forth they talk to you like a kid too that's what I'm getting. It could be this very same person. But some of you are definitely dealing with a narcissist. Mm. Okay. Sagittarius, definitely take this approach. Because whether this person or maybe someone else who has good intentions, they'll be back. It'll come together. You don't have to open up just yet because... This is what is on the other side for you. If you really focus on you and continue to mind your business, um, I'm getting this nine of pentacles. You're going to be feeling good. Um, money's going to be just right. You're just going to be able to rely on yourself, be looking good, feeling independent, feeling self-reliant. Especially if you continue to save your money and it's not too late to start either. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting a lot of my Sagittarius are focused on work. That's where they're putting their head at. With this Eight of Pentacles right under... The, wow, hold on. Hold on, I see it now. <laughs> Some of you are saying that too. It's like on a soul level, you see it. And that's what... That's, I believe, Sagittarius is... One of their phrases, I see. You know, I think of the owl and I think of all of this knowledge and this wisdom that it represents don't get me started anyways so it's just like you have the four of pentacles and then underneath you have the eight of pentacles and then going into the fourth in the 
future. I was going to say the fortune. Mm, some of you could be making a fortune moving forward because you have the nine of pentacles from the four to the eight to the nine. Wow. So really focused on work, focused on your craft, maybe these creative ideas that you have, whatever it is, it's like you're keeping it to yourself. You're staying out the way. And that may be another reason why you are coming across these energies of people trying to um, talk to you in a very condescending way. Uh, they may not understand fully. They just get the sense that Sagittarius is not showing up like they used to and that you have more of this earth like grounded energy. And so their spirit, <laughs> with their insecurities that they probably are not even aware of just yet or fully aware of is, is what is triggered by this energy that you have, this new energy you have about you. Hence why you get you're coming across all these projections, but they're really just bouncing off of you at this point, especially with this nine of pentacles. Wow. There you go, because you're sitting in your power. And whew, Queen of Wands, there you are, with that black cat. <laughs> I love black cats. I see nothing wrong with black cats. Some of you are keeping see how it's you're implementing this wisdom and this knowledge that you have. Like, I feel like the high priestess should be here, especially either on the queen of wands or the five, or the four of pentacles. But it's like you're implementing this and turning it into something that makes you money as well. And keeping this to yourself, maybe not so much the ideas that you have, um, mainly more so the money making ideas. Yes, because that may be something that you end up launching. But it's more the process, where you are in the process. Let people think what they think, you know. Mm, wow. Mm. So clarifying the Six of Cups, you have the King of Cups and the Justice card. Wow. That's an interesting combination. So it's like whoever is wanting to reconcile or this could be a past life person. It was... It's justice for that to happen with this King of Cups as well. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, or just this person is really reserved. Um, they're really reserved when they came to you, really emotionally mature. So it's like there's one person who is very mature, very emotionally supportive and not demeaning. And it was only fair for them to come this way for this person to show up but some of you are still somewhat guarded um if not all the way at least about your money because you're like okay that don't mean nothing <laughs> because some of you have dealt with somebody for years and you're like no i'm not doing that again it's just a lesson learned you could be dealing with the libra yeah it's lesson learned you dealt with that before you don't want to yeah, and then you you probably still sense this energy around you. So it's like multiple people. There's there's someone who's very supportive emotionally, um, wise, and there's also someone who's just just a snake. They're just a snake, and that's why look. It's funny how that's clarifying the four pinnacles. Cause look how to, you're just clutching all your money and your pearls. Cause here it is come this person come again. Here they come again. But good thing you're clutching them because then that's how you show up with nine more. Or five more, might as well be nine more. So I'm telling you, there's you're still putting in the work. You're keeping your business to yourself around these snakes that could be at work. Wow, this sun card is loyal, okay? And you could just be dealing with the Leo or waiting on it. Like I said, with this Leo season going forward or Mercury and Leo thing will finally, you know, I'm just kidding. There's just going to be this huge energy shift. There's already been a huge energy shift with all these planets in Leo and then Mercury going direct. But then it's just like, man, going forward, you'll be feeling really good. You're going to be seen on the scene. <laughs> wow. Mm. I don't know what to say. I'm just really happy to see 
this Queen of Wands overlaying the reading, and then you have the Eight of Pentacles underneath, and then the Seven of Swords. This person don't even know what they're running into there because they're running into justice. They're running into this past energy, and it's going to be balanced out because if they're not intuitively adept to what's going on, it's about to be made fair and balanced. Wow, and let the truth come out. <laughs> let the truth be said. Wow, I don't I really don't know what else to say, Sagittarius. Because like I said, you're going to speak your truth. You're about to set a lot of people straight if they're not serving you. Mm-hmm. And there's all this petty conflict can very well be at work. But I'm getting you're very skillful too. Very skillful. And this skill is going to be shown. Six of Wands might as well be here, but the sun is, so I'm excited to see that. Wow. Yeah, you could be very well dealing with the Scorpio. Um, some of you guys are going, you're handling the legal part of, if this is a business that you're starting, whatever this process is, the legal part is coming into play and, or has already taken place. And now you're able to implement the skill and all the things that you want within your business. But this Queen of Wands in the death card is a huge, huge transformation taking place. And there's going to be conflict and a little, a little people rub the wrong way by this progress progress that you've made because this is clarifying the eight of pentacles so this is like people around you like maybe other people talking or at least their spirit is talking like how did they get so far what just happened like Sagittarius was just doing this when did all of this come about and when did this transformation when did they get all this money when did they get all this attention this and this and that everybody's worried about Sagittarius Mm -hmm. and you just resting like i put in this work let me rest while they want to go all run over the place and have a little mini heart attack panic attacks while you speak your truth while you implement your skill and your talent amongst the snakes mm -hmm. and then it's just like still giving to those who you're doing it for because you know it's beyond you and you wish these other people knew it too or else they wouldn't be trying to sabotage or be all up in your business for reasons that just don't serve your purpose. Yep, all about the money. All about the money. And not even necessarily all about the money, but just all about your stability. All about focusing on what makes sense in Virgo season. So that is your reading, Sagittarius. Thank you again so much for visiting. I pray that you all continue to take care, protect your energy, your business, and speak your truth. So I will see you all again soon. Bye.